And every time I tell this story to people, people go, uh, oh, I suppose that makes sense. You know, the, the transition from, you know, physics, the, the big questions to, to religion and the big questions. And, and then that always gets under my skin a little bit. Um, I say, no, no, it, it's really, it's really not that at all. Um, I tend to, when I'm introducing my perspective, I, I now tend to frame it as the critical social science of religion. Um, and there are a few key components in there. So the social element, right, regardless of what the, the various beliefs um, or practices associated with religion are, it's a social phenomenon. Um, religion exists through people. Um, and I study those people. Um, the, the science aspect, and this is where it, the, the whole science religion debate then becomes interesting because as a scholar within the academy, one has to operate within a certain set of norms. And so those norms are, in a sense, quote, scientific, um, which then causes issues for, for some who are engaging in this study. And the critical aspect is just it's asking questions about um you know who benefits who wins and loses so in the the science religion debate you know what what is at stake there now 